okay, I, I'm surprised I'm a comedian too. <laughs> Get that. Let me just address that. Uh, I got braces recently. I think I was trying to put the finishing touch on the 13-year-old girl look. <laughs> I was like, I got my training bra. The period's due in a year or so. What am I missing besides social skills? Hmm. A sad light bulb goes off. And there's so many perks to having adult braces, I don't even know where to start. But in the interest of time, I managed to narrow it down to one thing. This is the best thing. The silver lining, if you will, of having adult braces. Sometimes when you're eating with braces, we eat too. It's crazy, I know. You'll be chewing your food, and you'll just try to get it over with because it's awkward enough as it is. And then some of it will get stuck in your teeth, and you won't realize it. And then later, when you're just trying to move on with your life, move forward from the trauma, it'll fall out. <laughs> and you're just like, what's the protocol? So you'll just look around and just like, <laughs> oh, secret snack time. <laughs> Uh, you know what? You can cancel those nachos. I'm working on this delicious crud ball. It's so good. Do you want some? Too far. Too far. I'm sorry. I was, I was watching a special, a uh, comedy special on TV the other night, trying to get some tips. And, uh, and I noticed this trend. Whenever comedians on TV tell a race or ethnicity joke, the camera in the audience always pans to that ethnicity <laughs> in the audience just to be like, this joke is okay. Like the Cherokee accounts of America are laughing, so you can laugh too. Like, and it won't even be nice. Like it'll be mean even. Like if the comedian tells a Hispanic joke, the camera will pan to the, like it'll try to find Latino people and go outside if it has to. Just to be like, they're having a good time. What's your problem, Mr. and Mrs. Stoneface? Or like if the comedian tells a Vietnamese joke, the camera will pan to the Korean people in the audience because no one can tell. Especially TV executives, they're like, we dare you to write an angry letter. We dare you. They're all the same. This is what I wish would happen in my perfect world. Whenever the comedian told, a comedian tells a religion joke or anything slightly religious, I wish the camera would just slowly pan to a guy or girl in the audience dressed up as God going... <laughs> And then your screen would just go blank, and then your TV would explode. Because I want comedy to be about fear. Apparently, I was born in the wrong country, so I'm told. But uh, <laughs> I, uh, I was at a budget meeting for work not too long ago. It sounds boring, but wait for it. I was sitting next to a mouth breather. And a little bit of this hot action, just the... <sighs> And that's without the allergy disclaimer. That's just them on a good day. That's what they're bringing to the table. They're like, this is me. Take it or leave it. And something about that noise, just the urgency, the ah, something about that immediately triggers my mind into adrenaline pumping mountain rescue scenario mode. So the entire time during the meeting, I was just like, we're going to make it. The financial outlook isn't that hopeless. Hang in there. I'm not going to lose you. Not this time. And my, it just went into slow motion. And later I was like, only two slides left. We got to get you warm. That's when it got a little awkward, believe it or not. But um, on that note, I am a card-carrying introvert. I don't know if anyone picked up on that. I'm not even ashamed to say it. Actually, I am, which is why I carry a card. But all my... <laughs> but uh, I don't know. <laughs> like, introverts have it hard in society. It's, like, supposedly this big, like, everyone should be extroverted and fun and friendly. So all my extroverted people that I meet, they try to make me feel better by saying things like, oh, Parna, no, don't feel weird. Don't, don't even worry about it. You might not know this about me, but I'm actually really shy. I'm actually really shy, too. I'm 
really shy too. Like it's this dire confession that they have to tell me under like confidentiality. But like don't do that. Don't take the one thing I have to cling to in this world in the fetal position and just be like, me too, everybody a little, really. Like, what does that mean when extroverted people say they're shy? Like, oh, you, what, you feel a little awkward in between cheek kisses? No, no. Like, if you're shy, or you say you're shy, you need the street credit to back that up, and I have that street credit. Like, I don't know, for example, have you ever been kicked out of a library for being too quiet? No, like where the librarian just walks up to you and she's like, I'm sorry, dear, you have to leave. You've been here forever. And I just go, oh, oh but my friends live in the pages. <laughs> <laughs> right? I don't know, have you ever had a panic attack before entering a chat room? <laughs> no! Because that's the privileged utopia that I inhabit. Case closed, R win. Um, I, actually, this, this like just segues nicely into that. I was rating poop samples the other day. <laughs> Not my own, that's disgusting. But the poop samples of like different animals. I just made, I made like a March Madness bracket because I have a lot of time. And I was like, which one, which animal species comes out on top in terms of poop? It was bird poop. Like, far and away, the winner, easily the best, and here's why. You would not drive around for three weeks with dog crap on your windshield and just be like, you know what? It's probably gonna rain tomorrow. It's cloudy and I'm feeling lucky. Like, I like my chances. I enjoy what this says about me. <laughs> what? Or you would never break the ice at your company picnic with the delightful elephant took a poop on my head story. Just to show how lovably wacky and unpredictable you are. Like, you got a lot of Jim here. He just gets into all kinds of stuff, literally. Like, if a bird poops on your head, it's like a funny day. Like, oh, we can all laugh. If an elephant takes a dump on your noggin, that is a sad life. You still smell, basically. Thank you guys very much. Have a party. Enjoy the rest of the show.